South Korea has achieved a significant breakthrough in its indigenous fighter development with the delivery of the first domestically produced AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array, radar for the KF-21 Boramay program. On August 5, 2025, Hanwha Systems officially handed over the radar at its Yongin facility, marking a critical step toward Seoul's goal of self-reliance in advanced sensor technologies and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers, particularly those subject to export controls. The KF-21 Borame, a twin-engine 4.5-generation multi-role fighter, is designed to excel in both air dominance and precision strike roles. The newly developed AESA radar forms the heart of its fire control system, enabling the aircraft to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously across air, sea, and ground domains. This advanced radar offers a substantial leap over traditional mechanically scanned systems by providing longer detection ranges, quicker processing speeds, and stronger resistance against electronic interference. Such capabilities translate into superior performance in long-range engagements and enhanced survivability in contested environments. The radar has undergone initial testing on a modified Boeing 737-500 and is slated for integration into 40 KF-21 jets by 2028. The system was validated in a state-of-the-art near-field test setup capable of assessing four airborne radar units concurrently, a first for South Korea. The KF-21 fighter itself features a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kg, a ferry range approaching 2,870 km, and a top speed reaching Mach 1.81, about 2,220 km per hour. With a payload capacity up to 7,700 kg, its airframe incorporates stealth-inspired elements influenced by the F-22 Raptor such as angular air intakes and canted vertical tails, along with a conformal internal gun positioned above the left intake reminiscent of the F-35A design. While not classified as a full fifth-generation fighter, the KF-21 includes several radar signature reduction features and aims to serve as a domestic alternative to U.S.-made stealth fighters. South Korea continues to supplement its air force with American F-35 as, having placed an order for 20 additional jets in late 2023 as part of the FX-3 procurement initiative. Ultimately, the Republic of Korea Air Force plans to acquire 120 KF-21 aircraft by 2032. Flight testing kicked off in July 2022 at Seishin Air Base, utilizing six prototypes, for single-seat and two tandem-seat variants. By the close of 2024, these prototypes had flown over 1,000 sorties, with a goal to reach 2,000 flights by 2026. Testing has encompassed air-to-air -air missile launches, day and night aerial refueling operations, and advanced maneuvering trials. The KF-21 has been integrated with European origin missiles, including the Meteor Beyond Visual Range weapon and the Iris-T short-range missile, and is expected to be compatible with the Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. Core systems like flight control software, mission computing, and avionics have been developed domestically, bolstering South Korea's defense industrial base and lessening dependence on imported technologies. The KF-21 project, originally known as KFX-IFX, was launched in partnership with Indonesia, which agreed in 2014 to cover 20% of the estimated 7.5 trillion won, $6.3 billion, development cost. However, Indonesia's financial contributions faltered in 2018 amid calls for contract renegotiations. Although payments resumed in 2021, further delays and requests for reduced commitments continued into 2024. By August 2024, South Korea consented to lowering Indonesia's share to 600 billion won. Both nations reaffirmed their collaboration in early 2025, yet uncertainty persists over Indonesia's intended acquisition of 50 fighters. Compounding concerns, reports surfaced of Indonesia evaluating the Turkish Khan fighter. Additionally, a security incident involving two Indonesian engineers caught with unauthorized USB drives at Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, prompted a joint investigation by South Korean defense and intelligence agencies, which ultimately found no evidence of sensitive KF-21 data leaks. The arrival of this homegrown AESA radar underscores South Korea's growing mastery of integrating cutting-edge technology into next-generation combat aircraft independently. 
The KF-21 stands as a landmark achievement for the nation's defense industry, positioning South Korea as a potential exporter of advanced fighter jets for countries seeking alternatives to Western fifth-generation platforms.